And so it begins. Oh. Despite triple threats being every man for himself, history has shown that the match's dynamics can create unlikely alliances. A participant must be ready to endure double team attacks at any time. Well, the door's locked, and at this point, the competitors might just be wondering exactly oh, what man. they've gotten themselves into. What an aggressive side slam. You gotta believe this one's over. Ooh. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. some offense here but he's the champ for a reason he's going to take a whole heck of a lot more to stop him here tonight yeah but if you count him out now guys you'd be making a very big mistake mark my words boom what impact taking off his feet here and it's moves like that that make him so dangerous look out look out this could be it he lets it go yeah i wonder why oh Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. We talk about how important stipulations are in a steel cage match. If superstars sign a contract where the only way to win is escape the cage and have both your feet touch the floor, the competitors must have a plan. Especially since you have to be comfortable trying to escape through the cage door as you do climbing over the top of the cage and vice versa. Nobody controls the pace of a match Ooh. quite like this guy. He's making a statement here with this attack. Jeez. Corey, you touched on something moments ago that's so important for combatants in a steel cage match to remember. A superstar must be able to think offensively to figure out how they're going to escape the cage. They must think defensively at the same time so they can prevent their opponent from getting out of the cage first and winning the match. Well, a superstar must become comfortable with escaping the cage by both exiting the cage door and by climbing over the top of the cage. They must also be aware of their attributes and what's best for them. Let's just say if you're a giant like The Big Show, The Undertaker, Kane, or even Braun Strowman, it's preferred to... He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. The Steel Cage is a massive enclosure that stands 15 feet in height. For almost 35 years, a select group of high flyers have taken their aerial assaults to greater heights. And when I say that, I mean superstars climb to the top of the steel cage, the real high rent district, and dive off onto their opponent. And that all started with one man in October. The end may be near. A competitor must be ready for the possible. Ooh, what impact. But is it enough to end it? He's looking for the win. Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. Not yet. Oh, boy, he is rolling. This might be it. Oh, my. The challenger not looking good right now. Guys, this is where we find out what he's made of. This cage really has gotten the best of him tonight so far. So much so that it makes me question if he even has what it takes to win this thing. The rivalry between Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude began during the Super Pose Down at the 1989 Royal Rumble. And if this could be all she wrote, trying to move. That's the impact. Incredible. Wow, kicking butt and taking names. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Looking at it here. Hooked up. Back suplex. Corey, the WWE Championship match between the Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude was the second half of the double main event at 1990 SummerSlam. The rivalry between the Warrior and the Ravishing One was so heated that no one knew what to expect once the two men were able to battle inside a steel cage, which at the time was the most grueling match in all of WWE. The Ultimate Warrior dominated early on with his incredible strength. Rick, Rick. Here he goes. Before 2017's Extreme Rules, there were just three previous tag team matches where championship gold was decided inside a steel cage in the history of WWE special events. You guys see that distance? But he's got to capitalize now. The champion into the cover. Beautiful 
technique. The challenger's championship dreams are fading quickly. The champ might just have nothing left in his tank. This has been one of the most intense back and forth battles I've seen in a long time. And unfortunately for him, it's not looking so great right now. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Looking for a repeat. Boom! <laughs> oh, wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Oh, he's got him up high. Harsh impact. These superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their arsenal. They have to, but can they dig down deep enough to find it? Oof! I can't believe this one's still going on, especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. This might be it! Oh, my! He's lining him up. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. Pile driver. Can he finish him off here? Here's the pin title on the line. Here we go. Two. Three. The steel cage match is in the books. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. Look at him go. Remember this? Man, this was great. He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. Here is your winner and new United States Champion, Tyson Yor. You heard the ring announcer. This one's over. And here's your winner. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. You got that right, partner.